Om Shanti, welcome. We are here with 9th of May's Godly Blessing. Now, in order to understand what is sanskar, we have to understand that how do we behave on a daily basis. Sometimes a work has to be done, but are we able to do it? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. And the only quotient which is stopping us or is helping us to move ahead is the relationship between the team. That means if we are not matching our habits, our ways of thinking with people in the team, then it becomes very difficult for that work to be done. There's always some form of tussle, there's always some form of tension within the team. And that's why the work suffers. So that's why God says that you should make sure that your habits, your thoughts, your feelings are always ready to be matched within a second for the godly work to be done. So let's get into this beautiful Vardhan. Supreme Father says, may you be a spiritual server who is ever ready to finish and harmonize your sanskars. Ever ready. It's not about why should I do it? Or why should I always change? Why only me? Why doesn't he think of, why doesn't she change herself? Those thoughts should not come into a Brahmin. So God says, may you be a spiritual server who is ever ready to finish and harmonize your sanskars. Just as you are always ever ready to do physical service and instantly go to whatever, go to wherever you are called. In the same way, whatever thoughts you wish your mind to imbibe, be ever ready to do that. So it's about if somebody calls you, let's say your boss calls you, you rush towards that place and you find that there are certain people who are around you whom you don't like. Then, as per God's guidance, it's important for the work to be done, completed, and for that time, stop looking at others' mistakes, stop looking at others' faults, stop complaining, stop looking at what is not good in others, because that is going to change the vibration of the area. So protect yourself from doing that, protect yourself from coming in between the work and the boss, and protect yourself from not making the boss feel little agitated by your behavior so for that instant be ever ready ever ready means instantly change your thoughts and feelings towards people around you and focus on the work so god then says whatever thoughts you wish your mind to imbibe be ever ready to do that whatever thoughts you want to imbibe at that moment be ever ready to do that don't be in the past some people walk with the past thoughts and feelings into the present day and they make the present day also very heavy because they are carrying those heavy burdens of what that person said, what the neighbor said, what the boss said, what the colleague said and when they meet them, they meet them with heaviness. Then who's suffering more? Exactly. We ourselves. So God says, whatever thoughts you wish your mind to imbibe, be ever ready to do that. That means change your thoughts immediately. Whatever you think, do that at that time. Spiritual serving children are ever ready to fulfill their responsibilities for spiritual relationships and connections. So they don't get into the tussle of he's like that or she's like that. I will not work with him. I will not sit with him. I will not talk to him. Please send me somewhere else for seva or for service. You cannot do that. Can you do that in your family? No, you have to live together, right? Over there, we work towards making our habits, making our thoughts, making our feelings come in sync with each other. Only then the family can work. Otherwise, if families break, then you understand what happens. So similarly, on a spiritual service also, we have to be together as a family. Even if somebody has insulted you, said certain things bad about you, you still go back and you still work towards one aim, that is God's aim, and to serve human beings. Spiritual serving children are ever ready to fulfill their responsibilities for spiritual relationships and connections. It doesn't take them time to finish or harmonize their sanskars. They don't sulk. They don't complain, they don't blame, they don't make their mood off and they don't change the vibration of the place. They don't tell other people he's like that, that's why I don't want to work. No, they never get into that. As are the father's sanskars, let your sanskars be the same. Does God have any kind of complaint or problem with anybody? No. So we should harmonize our habits like him. No complaint, no problem with anybody. To harmonize your sanskars is the greatest dance. What kind of dance is this? It's the greatest dance. Dance means happiness. Dance means joy. Dance means being lighter. Dance means being light-hearted, light-minded. So if you harmonize your sanskars, you will automatically remove 
all the different knots which you're creating your in your complete body see when we don't harmonize the sanskaras let's say the other person doesn't want to harmonize the sanskaras that's their problem but we try to harmonize the sanskaras we try to be good to that person even if that person is not good we are healing ourselves we are making our knots which are there in different different areas of a body the subtle knots of chakras within chakras in purified knots they are released and we heal ourselves by doing that so do yourself a favor by learning this beautiful vardan and trying to change yourself even if the other person doesn't change now where do you get that power from for that you have to come and learn meditation <clears throat> at brahma kumaris and learn how to take that power from god and change yourself as soon as possible for you will benefit i'm sure you will this